putting the smack down on the bass once again. Delicious. Alrighty, so I'm doing a bit of uh, bass and fallfish fishing today with my good friend Donald. We're going to be river hopping left and right. Apparently, first fish on the tube jig is a walleye. Interesting. Never know what you're going to get on the tube. It mimics a crayfish, and they all love crayfish. Alright, so we're hopping spots already. Last spot was uh, not so great, but first cast looks like I got a little, uh, little brown, golden brown ditch pickle. <laughs> a little smolly, that's cool on the tube. First cast, baby. Get a hold of them here. Yeah, there's a little one. <laughs> it's a bass. Target species, baby. Don just caught a beautiful largemouth, which is very rare for the river. It's almost 99% smallies, easily. And it, this current just makes this thing feel like a toad. <laughs> Come here, dingus. Thankfully, I have 8-pound test. I'm rocking 8-pound test, so I can kind of force them. Kind of. Current man, smallmouth bass and heavy current is a it's a deadly deal. He's not even that big. You can lift him up just nice and easy like that. Well, Don's been nailing them pretty good, so I switched to a secret weapon, a little one and a half or two inch Kai Tech on a quarter ounce head. First cast, got something here. He's tugging, he's tugging good. It's a bass that jumped. Nice, it's a bass. That's what we're looking for, baby. Yeah, it's a bass. It's a smallie. They're getting bigger. That's that's a good thing. That little gray kitek. Look at the fat. All right, they are hot on the Kai Tech. Little, probably one and a half, two inch ribbed gray Kai Tech on a plain jig head, quarter ounce. I'm just burning it. And I'm trying to take it easy with them. I have eight pound test, but I still like to err on the side of caution here because there's just crazy current. It's another stupid walleye. Whoa! Looks like we're gonna get a mix of walleye and bass today. Alright, got another one on the Kai Tech. This one came out of like the middle of the current. I'm getting a mixed bag of walleye and bass so far. This mixed bag might extend to other species soon, soon, soon because we're going to be uh, hitting some muddy holes on the river that can have pretty much any type of fish. That is a slender little walleye. Okay, so we hopped to another really small river. I'm using the Kai Tech, the same little Kai Tech that was working, and first cast we got a ditch pickle, I think. Just another small one, funny. Hopefully we'll get in some bigger ones as we continue to hop around. There we go. Got him, he crushed it, man, that little great Kai Tech. Cool. There we go, right in front of me, baby. Feels like a little bit of a better one, I guess. He's really jiggling, man. <laughs> Look at the rod. That's a nice dark one, yeah. Beautiful. They're getting better. If I could grab him here. <laughs> there we go. Squiggly little guy. It's a nice solid 15, 15 and a half. Very cool. My bail broke for a minute there. I don't know what the heck happened. The line started coming off the the uh, the spool in a weird way when I tried to set the hook. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's a decent one done for a small river. He's making a big amount of noise. Let's see if I can get my hand on him here before he flaps against my butt. <laughs> yeah, that's just a, it's nothing great, but it's uh, better than the others. Whoa, I stole one from Don's side. That's funny. That little Kytec man started using like a slightly darker one, but otherwise that just that same little same little Kytec. Okay, another one on the little black. This one's fighting pretty good. Yeehaw! They're liking the Kytex today, more than the tubes even. Cool, little beauties. Chunky. There we go, right near shore here, on the Kytex again. Just a couple feet out, new spot. Nice little, little chunker here. Cool. Yep, so I'm just hip hop hipping around to new spots. There was just a guy here, so kind of funny that second cast I got one. But hey, I'll take it. Very cool. <laughs> so I told Don that I had a feeling in my dingus that there's no way that guy caught all of them. This is a squiggly. What do I got here? Yeah. I don't know what I got, but he's squiggling. Oh, he's really taking a lot of drag. I'm going to walk this one down. It's a big sucker. <laughs> and it's hooked on the side. That's why it's so hard to handle. Let me get down there without breaking my ankles. There we go. That is a big old sucker, man. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Look at that baby. Accidentally snagged him, but still really cool. As close as I can. There he goes. Hop back to one of the original holes. This has been a rather fun, but vigorous day of fishing. Cool. I just had a big one on he, he He popped. He popped off the hook. I'm using those Cheapo Bass Pro Shop hooks in my tube jig. Come here, dingus. Come on. Lots of 15 inches in this river, man. Many. Nice. This one feels a bit bigger. Please don't break me off. All I'm using is some old eight pound tests that I haven't switched up, I haven't refreshed in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's another decent one. These things fight so hard for their size, man. So hard. Very cool. There we go, right out in front of me here. A little bit smaller, but still a whole lot, whole lot of fun. So today for equipment, I've been using a six foot six inch, medium power, fast action rod, Fluger President, and eight pound mono. So for lures today, I've been using the big watermelon red flag tube, as well as a small Kytec.